More breaking news at 6 o'clock. Charlie Baker leaving the State House for the last time as governor. Now, the Lone Walk is a ceremonial departure that dates back to at least the late 1800s. And tomorrow, Maura Healy will take over as governor. WBZ's Christina Rex is live for us at the State House tonight. And Christina, pretty emotional day for Baker, who will tell you he gets pretty emotional pretty quickly. Absolutely an emotional day for him, David, but the emotion when he was just leaving, walking down the steps, beaming, just smiling ear to ear. You can maybe hear right now the song playing, Send Me On My Way, how fitting. Clearly the playlist was selected intentionally here. I want to show you some video from inside the State House. That lone walk tonight lasted uh, probably about 45, maybe a little longer, 45 minutes. That walk throughout the halls of the State House, Governor Baker interacting, of course, with so many people who have worked for even worked against him. You know, Governor Baker was known to many to be a compromise master, a Republican governor, a moderate Republican governor leading a state that is heavily Democratic with two chambers, the House and the Senate, both controlled by Democrats. But he's been widely respected not only by the people who worked under him or for him, but also by the entire state. Uh, you can see video now of him entering outside. This is a really special moment for the crowds that had gathered here on Beacon Hill to see him come through those ceremonial doors and walk down those stairs with Lieutenant Governor Karen Polito and both of their spouses, of course. And there's a pretty big crowd gathered here. You know, people, uh, it, it's not even an arguable point that they adore Governor Baker. Right now, he is the most popular governor in the nation. He's held that title 15 times throughout his governorship. Right now, his approval rating's 74%. So the crowd was loving watching him walk down those stairs, cheering him on. He gave everybody in the crowd hugs here with his family, his children, his wife, his lieutenant governor for the last time. And I'm told now that they are heading to a big family dinner in the North End. So nothing says goodbye to eight years of service like a warm bowl of pasta. For now, live on Beacon Hill, Christina Rex, WBZ News. They'll be toasting with cannolis. All right, Christina, thank you.